Uh, my name is Jason, and I took CS50 in the fall. I'm a freshman, and I was sort of looking for something I'd never studied before, um, something I knew was going to be fun but also a lot of work, and I found all of those and more in CS50. So I had a fantastic experience, and I'm pretty sure it changed my life and changed what I was interested in. So I'm here to encourage other people to take CS50 as well, so hopefully they can have um, as wonderful experience as I did. So uh, tell us how you got into the CS concentration. Um, I took CS in high school and I really liked it, and I've really liked it all at Harvard, so I'm happy with it, I guess. All right, cool. What do you think about um, CS as a potential minor? Do you think it's a good option for uh, a lot of people? What, what would you uh, sell someone on that with? Um, I think it's really useful because CS is really liberating. Once you know how to do just like a small script, you can make data and analysis faster, which a lot of people have to do, or you can do, uh, I don't know, minor things to just make your life easier, which is really nice. So, minoring is good too. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. There you have it. CS, empowering. So this is my uh, final project that I developed last year. Um, actually was up in space for a majority of the time taking a lot of these photos, um, which was the, the probably the biggest time-consuming aspect of this, but it's pretty cool. Um, Apple got a lot of their ideas from me. Um, so did Google Earth. It's, it's really, really unique. You know, you can find your house even if you live in the middle of the ocean, like over here. Good place. Also, if you like want to play, hmm, let's play some chess. You can play chess. It was a great little development tool. I learned a lot. Um, and thanks to CS50, you can create things just like this. Oh, definitely. CS50 was a lot of fun. Um, I remember when I was looking at all the courses like before I came here. I, like, I knew it was going to take my math course and, um, you know, a lot of them I picked out ahead of time. CS50 I did not know I was going to take, but after the first day of shopping it, you know, then I said, okay, this is for me. How do you feel about CS50 at 4 a.m. in the morning? I like it. It's, um, it really has a sense of creativity, because there's a lot of creativity flowing around everywhere. Everybody just seems like really excited and it's already like 4.30 and everyone's awake and working on their projects. It's pretty cool. The hackathon, the hackathon was yeah, so Yeah, we loved awesome. the hackathon. We had so much fun. We were raging in the corner, yeah. <laughs> Music. Yeah. And eating all the candy. Eating all the, eating lots of candy. That was disgusting. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. So. What did you think of the CS50 player? Um, there's a lot of people here, and I think it's amazing that there's so many really great projects that are going on. Um, it was definitely a challenging semester, but I think at the end, at the end, you can say like I've gained some very tangible skills that I will definitely use in the future. I really thought that this has been one of the most practical courses that I've taken at Harvard and also a lot of fun um, and I've really enjoyed learning how to use the technology. Um, I'm really interested in um, in medicine as you can probably tell from this so I think I'm going to go into go and be a doctor but I think that being able to work with uh, programming and uh, and websites and computers is such a useful skill and everybody should really know it. We're with President Faust. Uh, we just want to ask you, what did you think of the fair? Well, it was really fun. Uh, first, I was struck by how much energy there is in this room, and everyone so excited about their projects and everyone else's projects. But I was so struck by the ingenuity of the projects I saw. Lost and found seems to be a shared theme that obviously we need a university-wide lost and found uh, site. And then I just saw an application which is about debating across Harvard where people can debate issues online. And I thought there's so many questions that it would be great to just get people's responses on. So I thought about what a contribution to the community that could be. And then I just saw a lot of other very ingenious websites about where to find libraries and different functions in libraries and uh, a variety of things. So what a great, what a great event.